Well, hello guys. Welcome to the moving vlogs. These have been long awaited. I'm so excited to finally be filming these. I'm thinking this is going to be at least a three part series, if not four parts. So this first vlog is going to be a lot of the packing up, um, getting ready to go on a road trip. I will go ahead and leave linked below my moving announcement where I shared all about it. Long story short, we are moving from Georgia to Seattle, so from one corner of the country to the other. Um, Seattle is my favorite city in the world, so I'm just so, so, so excited to be back there, especially in the summertime, because summer is the most beautiful season in Seattle. I really just wanted to take you guys along for the ride. I love watching moving vlogs. I find them so motivational and just fun to watch. So just a quick refresher on how we're doing this move. We are going to be driving there, just Nathan and I. The cats are going to stay here and my parents are going to take care of them during our road trip. Then we're going to fly back here and then we actually have a few days in between the time we arrive back here and the time that we fly back with the cats. That is how everything is going to go logistically. So this first vlog is just going to be a lot of the packing up. We're going to pack my makeup together and also just kind of show you the preliminary stages of moving out of this apartment. Then the second vlog will be our road trip, and I think the third vlog will be kind of finishing up, packing up once we get back from our road trip, and I'll also show the whole process of flying the cats. So I am just so excited to take you guys along with us, and I hope you're excited too, because I think these vlogs are going to be really fun. So before we get into the vlog, I do want to quickly thank today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. I am so excited to be working with BetterHelp because this is a service that I myself have used in the past and so when they emailed me about a potential partnership it was just a no-brainer because this is a company that I already know and can vouch for. So if you've never heard of BetterHelp before, it is basically customized online therapy. You can go on there, fill out a questionnaire that just answers some things about your mental health, your goals, and within 48 hours they will match you with a therapist. And from there you can meet with your therapist either by video chat, by phone, or even by live texting chat. So if you're not comfortable seeing someone on camera or talking on the phone, it's really nice that that option is there as well. And you can also switch to a new therapist anytime. If you've ever gone to therapy before, you know it is so, so important to have that connection with your therapist. So if you're just, if you're not feeling it or you just feel like there could be a better match out there, you can always switch. To me, BetterHelp was a huge lifesaver because I don't know about you guys, but the thought of calling around to different offices in the area, going into the office, and of course there's always the risk that maybe you're not really going to be a great match for that therapist, then you might have to go through that whole thing again. All of that is just so, so daunting to me. So I just love that this option is out there because it just it's so much more convenient and less stressful if you're already going through a stressful time in life. Adding that whole extra layer of finding a therapist is it's just another stressor that you don't want to have to add onto your plate. So I love that it, it's just so easy to go on there and within 48 hours you will be matched and ready to schedule an appointment with your therapist. So if you would like to check out BetterHelp, you can get 10% off of your first month of therapy on BetterHelp at the link in my description box. It's BetterHelp betterhelp.com slash Sarah Rose, and that will get you started on there. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video, and let's hop in to the moving vlog. Good morning. So I think this is the beginning of moving vlog number one. We are 20 days out from leaving here and heading to Seattle, but today it is starting to feel very real because our friends who just got married and also just moved, congrats to them, um, they are coming to get a bunch of our furniture. They're taking my vanity, our dresser, coffee table, some of our artwork, a few other things. But they just texted me to tell me that they are picking up their U-Haul now, so we are getting ready for them to get here. So I need to clear off my vanity, bid a fond farewell to this guy, served us well here, um, and take everything out of my dresser. So, cheers to moving. Let's get started. Meanwhile, the city that saw the most people moving away was San Francisco. And San Francisco had the lowest inflation rate in Redfin's analysis Yeah. 
B says, I'm so helpful. Look at me. I'm gonna bite through this cord. I'm so helpful. <laughs> like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> She's concerned. Wow, Heidi. That's amazing. Look at you. You can do it. I know. <laughs> oh, he was in the cabinet too. You guys want to see what Tala's up to? Napping. All right, this is most of what they're taking. It's clean. It's prepared. <laughs> it's when well, we did it. We, we did it. It was we, quick. We were stressed about it last night. Yeah, it and then they're also taking. Oh. <laughs> Heidi. She decided to ignore my advice to not jump on this and did it anyway. Um, but yeah, they're taking that. That was a sweet piece of furniture. We loved it. And the dresser, which you guys already saw. So, what do you think, Heidi? She's like, I think my coloring matches perfectly with this. It does. That is so your color, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's comfy She's cozy. Like, Are you sure they have to take this? I know, but it's sad. But also happy. She's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're so pretty. And then they're also taking this lovely plant. One of the few plants that has survived basically the entire time we've lived here. It's only gotten more beautiful. Yeah, it's it's thriving. And yeah, if you guys are looking for a low maintenance plant, get a pothos. They can pretty much survive anything. I mean, we'll forget to water it for like a month. It'll start to droop a little bit and then we'll water it and it just immediately perks back up and looks good as new so yeah it grows and it perks up and grows three more inches and yeah that's like, and that's like, <laughs> yeah oh, we, awesome. we've had to tuck up a bunch of the like um what do runners. you call it runners back up into the pot because otherwise they would be like all the way on the floor by now so good morning so ooh, today is tuesday we are leaving on our road trip to seattle on saturday so four days from now and um hoping to have a really productive day today hoping to take you guys along with me i'm gonna just put on a quick face of makeup going with my ilia skin tint ever since i quit my project pan and did my declutter i've just been having so much fun using what i feel like using um <laughs> go figure but this skin tint is like the only thing i've wanted to put on my face for the past week because it just feels so breathable in the heat but this morning we are going to get our car we're going to get an oil change for the car and just get it checked out and make sure that it is ready to <laughs> drive across the country so cross your fingers that that ends up not being super expensive <laughs> we'll see you never know but safety first gotta have a working car after that i want to go to target and get a new phone mount for the car because mine was really old and it broke and the suction cup thingy wasn't really sticking as well as it once did and we're gonna need that just so we can see the map the gps when we are driving so that's the next thing i want to do and then after that i do have another couple of declutters i need to film i've already filmed my base product declutter and my cheek product declutter now I just need to do palettes and I'll probably just do one category after that for miscellaneous eye products and lip products and I think that should be it. And then I also have brushes and nail polishes that I'll maybe also throw into that last category or maybe that'll be a separate video. We'll see. Basically I'm just trying to pre-film enough so that I have videos all the way through our road trip. We are driving there in three days. Then. Once we get there, we're picking up the key to our apartment, checking in, unloading our stuff, and then we hop on a plane to come back here. And then we actually have a few days after that to finish up packing up and clearing out our apartment. And then uh, a few days later, we are flying with the cats back to Seattle, and that is our like official move out date. So I feel like the timing worked out nicely because originally we had to be out of this apartment by June 30th. And so we were gonna fly back with the cats at some point before then. But plane tickets were so expensive that week. I think just because it's the week before 4th of July. So we ended up actually getting an extension from our landlord by like three days. So we're paying a little bit extra to stay here for another few days. And we're, we ended up saving like a couple hundred bucks on plane tickets that way. So 
it ended up working nicely and it's also just nice that we have a few more days than we had originally kind of budgeted for so we just have more time in between that road trip and flying to Seattle with the cats to get everything squared away so we don't feel quite as much pressure now to get everything done before Saturday so that's good so I feel like the timing worked out just about as perfectly as it could and I'm feeling very good about it so anyway today oil change and car tune up whatever target to get a little phone mount for the car and then I also really need to go through my clothes and like decide what I'm actually keeping what I'm actually gonna take with me and just get rid of the rest so that I'll probably do later today and then I just want to take pictures of all the rest of like the furniture and stuff that we're selling so that those can, I don't necessarily have to post them all right now because some things we don't really want to sell until we're back from our road trip. But I want to just go go ahead and get as many pictures taken as, as I can, list anything that makes sense to list now. Yeah, that should probably take up most of today. <laughs> Using up the rest of my Cloven Hallow liquid blush. I'm actually kind of liking it in a pot like this. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of like the, those like ColourPop jelly products. Oh, and then tonight we're getting dinner with some friends. Well, they're friends that are much older than us, like they're old enough to be our parents, <laughs> but um, they, we know them from college. They were kind of like the faculty advisors to this um, club that we were in, the vegan club. Nathan and I, we met in said vegan club, so. Mm. You know what I just had the urge to use? Good old stone vibes. Remember? how obsessed I was with this when it came out. I still love it. Just haven't used it in a little while because I've been using other things, but I have a really nice quick eye look that I like to do with this. Although I might actually grab something. I'm actually gonna dip into my Aether Beauty Rose Quartz palette, another favorite, and use that transition shade that I love so much. I'm telling you, I need this in a single, like in its own little compact. I would just keep it in like my everyday makeup drawer and I would use it every single day as my transition shade because it's the perfect transition color. All right, now that that's laid down, I'm just gonna take the shade Vibes here, this nice light kind of lavender color. And that is going to be my lid shade. I just love how glimmery those shimmers are. up some coffee and breakfast. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, can I get a medium cold brew with um, coconut and toasted almond and oat milk? Yes, thank you. So the task for today is to sort through my clothes. I just finished doing laundry, so pretty much everything I own is clean except for a couple things that I already know I'm gonna keep anyway because I obviously wear them if they're currently dirty. So over here in this corner, this is basically everything that was in my dresser before we sold that. So I wanna sort through all of that as well as everything in my closet and just decide once and for all what I'm keeping and what I want to donate. Oh, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys how much progress we're making here, so don't mind that. That's my makeshift tripod for today. Um, but this is our bedroom. That kind of rectangle you can kind of see there in the carpet, that's where our bed used to be. But let me show you out here. This past weekend, we sold our couch. Actually, our good friends bought it from us. Same friends that bought a bunch of our other furniture. So we moved the mattress out into the living room. So we've been sleeping out here and just also using this as our couch. So we have somewhere to sit when we watch TV. So it's actually been really nice. Like it, it, there's something oddly fun and cozy about sleeping out here in the living room. So yeah, it's been honestly really fun. So everything that's in here, 
will eventually need to be gone. One of our friends is taking this chair. They're just, I'm just giving it to her for free because it has a ton of like cat damage on it. This is basically like the one piece of furniture that the cats love to scratch. So we've just been like, eh, whatever. I mean, I only paid like 15 bucks for this chair, so it's fine. And the same friend who's taking that chair is also taking this lamp, which I love so much. It's been such a good little lamp for us. Um, this we're going to sell. We're probably going to wait to sell the TV until we are back from our road trip because like I mentioned before, we do have some we have a kind of a cushion between the time we fly back here from Seattle until we fly out with our cats. So we have like five days in between, so we'll honestly have plenty of time to sell stuff during that period of time. But anyway, that's enough procrastinating for now. Let's tackle the clothes. So, I went through the closet and I actually pulled out a pretty good sized pile of things that I just don't really feel like are worth it to take with me. I just either don't wear them often enough or I just feel like they haven't really been my style recently. Things I just haven't worn in like the past year. I think it's probably just time to let go of. So, got like a denim jacket here. I just, I don't know. I haven't really been feeling the denim jackets recently. Same with horizontal stripes. I used to be obsessed with black and white horizontal stripes. I still have another dress actually with black and white stripes. I just didn't feel like I needed to keep both of my black and white striped dresses. This sort of sheer fabric thing. I literally got this for free from like the buy nothing group and I never wore it. So that's going to go. I have two crop tops here. I do like crop tops, but these I just feel like are a little bit too small and I just feel kind of uncomfortable in them. They're like a little bit too tight. This shirt, I don't know if you can tell, it's actually like a really light spring green color, this shirt. And the neck is so discolored from, I guess, sunscreen. This shirt is just too big. This one, I don't love the way it fits. Same with this sweater kind of over the animal print so that sweater is going to go. I wore that a ton for the past like three winters but I think I'm just kind of ready to retire the animal print. Um, this sweater I also used to wear a ton. It's just a little bit too loose on me. This is a little bit too tight on me. This is like a denim vest that is cute but I never wear it. Like a fleece pullover that's just like super stained and I don't know it's just kind of old and ratty. And then this actually pretty nice winter coat that I just don't really wear. It's just not really my style. Thrifted that a while ago, wore it a couple times, and kind of realized I wasn't really feeling it. So that is the stuff that I pulled from the closet. And this right here is a bunch of stuff from like the dresser pile or what used to be in my dresser that I decided to let go of. This is a pair of PJ pants. It just has so many holes in it. It's super old and ratty. So, and same with these. These are like biker shorts that actually I haven't even had that long. I got them from like the kids section of Target. And something about this material is just so thin and flimsy that and this part right at the butt is coming apart. So yeah, it's a shame because they're really cute and they like didn't hold up for very long at all. I haven't even worn these that many times. So and then here is just a bunch of other, mainly like loungewear that I'm getting rid of. Sports bra, workout tank, some pajamas that are perfectly fine. I just have more pajamas than I really need to take with me. A t-shirt, another pair of biker shorts. I just do not like the way these fit me. They're just, they're very unflattering for some reason. Old pair of leggings, a bunch, these are like pantyhose. I, I don't even remember the last time I wore tights or pantyhose. Um, tank top there, these random like eye masks that I also never wear, this pair of athletic shorts is just too tight, um, this skirt is cute but also too tight, shorts also too small, finally getting rid of my chacos, do you guys remember when chacos were 
all the rage. Back in college, I wore these like every day. They're still in really good condition. I just don't really wear them anymore. Cause I mean, look at the bottom. They're still in really good shape. So I don't know. I'll probably either sell them or give them away. What do you think, Tala? And then this is everything that I'm keeping from that dresser pile. I kind of organized it a little bit better. So we have pajamas here, shorts that I would wear like out and about, you know, um, a huge pile of socks. I should probably try to whittle that down a little bit more, but we'll see. Um, some lounge pants, t-shirts. Those are like leggings, long pants, sweatshirts, sports bras, and workout tops. And then that's like a swimsuit and a pair of gloves. So that's what I'm keeping from that pile. Feels a lot more organized now. So feeling good to have all the clothes sorted out and to know exactly what I'm actually keeping. Um, as far as packing the clothes, I think a good bit of it, I'm probably just gonna put in a suitcase and that'll come on the plane with us. And then I think some of it'll probably go into one of the boxes that we're shipping, like maybe the bulkier stuff, coats might go in there. Um, and honestly, clothes make pretty good packing material or like padding for packages. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so I put everything into these bags. Some of this stuff was stuff that I'd previously decluttered um, that I've had in my car, like waiting to get rid of for a while. I'm gonna list all of this on our local buy nothing page. Um, I just prefer doing that over dumping things at Goodwill just because you never know if something at Goodwill is even gonna end up being used or if they're just gonna like eventually throw it into a landfill. All right, good morning, it is Friday. We leave tomorrow on our road trip, so today is going to be busy. I need to film my last declutter video, my last category, which is gonna be like eyes and lips and miscellaneous. Um, and then I also need to film my what I'm packing in my travel makeup bag. Also, someone is coming to buy my desk in a little while, so that'll be gone. A lot of our furniture is gone. My friend took our standing desk yesterday. Um, our yellow chair is gone, the one out in the living room. Our like hanging lamp that was out there. So things are things are dwindling. We are making good progress. I just got done filming my what I'm packing in my travel makeup bag, which means that it is now time to pack up the rest of my makeup. So I actually had the realization, I think it's gonna make more sense to just put the makeup in the car with us rather than shipping it because I think I should be able to fit it all into a pretty small box. I'm gonna try to fit it in here. There's how big the box is. Here's like my phone for scale. So just to give you an idea of how big that is, but I think, I, I don't know, I might be delusional for thinking that all my makeup could fit in here, but I'm gonna try and if not, I can always try a bigger box. And then as far as packing material, I really didn't wanna have to buy bubble wrap. So instead I have been just saving up any bubble mailers or bubble wrap that I've gotten in packages over the past few months. And then I also asked in our Buy Nothing group if anybody had any bubble mailers or bubble wrap that they would be willing to give away. So I ended up getting from a couple different people, I got a bunch of bubble wrap, basically a shoebox full of that, and then a bunch of old bubble mailers and that brown paper stuff. So I think we should be all set in terms of packing material and hopefully Nothing breaks, fingers crossed. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with palettes just because these can lay flat in the box. So I'm thinking that'll be the best thing to start with and then we'll kind of work our way up to the more oddly shaped stuff after that. Some of these, like the flower palettes, like the desert lights and jungle lights, I know these are breakable. So I'm gonna kind of double wrap those just to be safe. Okay, so I was able to fit all my palettes in this box. I think I was just a teeny bit delusional for thinking I could fit all my makeup in here. I think if it weren't for all of the bubble wrap, I would have been able to, but that's okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these in this box and then I'm just gonna get another small box and I think all the rest of my makeup should fit in there.
leaking, I'm gonna just put in a Ziploc bag, like my, like I don't think this would leak, but just in case, my Revolution setting spray. I'll go ahead and add a little bit of cushion to that as well. lipsticks in there. <laughs> Alright, and that is all of my makeup besides eyeshadow palettes. It all fit in this box. And I have a tiny bit of room in here to spare. I might try to squeeze in some of my little storage containers, like these sorts of things. I might see how many of those I can fit in there. Of course, I can always get new ones when I'm there as well, but just see how much else we can squeeze in here. Good news. These little drawer organizers I've been using, I actually got these at the Dollar Tree, but they're really good quality. Um, so those I just kind of stack together and I can just pop them right on top. And then I also have, these are also from Dollar Tree. These are butter dishes. They're kind of like an acrylic material and they're perfect for storing things like eyeliners, lip liners. Those I am gonna keep, although I am being careful to wrap those because I know they would likely break if I didn't. I think my other drawer organizers, like these metal guys, I don't think I really care to keep these. I think I'll get rid of those. And same with these. These are just, you know, kind of flimsy, so I think I'll go ahead and get rid of those as well. Probably see if anybody wants them. These kinds of things are cheap if I do need more once I'm there. Do that, hit up the DT. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, this this one also actually fits quite nicely in there. Woohoo, so those two boxes fit all of my makeup. And these boxes will definitely fit in the car, no problem. Um, tonight, after this I guess, we'll probably start, ooh, I just remembered my nail polish. All right, please hold. All right, I, I just realized I almost forgot my nail polishes. These are all the nail polishes that I ended up keeping, which is really not many. I just put them all in the Ziploc bag and then patted it on either side with bubble wrap. I hope that's good enough. I really just do not feel like wrapping each one individually. So <laughs> let's just hope that that works. Um, and that I can just kind of put on top there, that works. Okay, cool, cool. So that, that is all my makeup and nail polish. And then one other makeup packing thing I wanna do now is I wanna put together a box to ship to Project Beauty Share, which if you're not familiar, it's an organization where you can donate new or barely used, like really gently used makeup, and they will distribute it to various women's shelters and things like that. So the best way I've found is to just get a flat rate box from the post office. I think that usually ends up being the cheapest. So I picked this one up today. This is one of the medium boxes, which I think should be enough. I'm just gonna fit as much as I can in here. I have quite a few things that I would like to donate. So let me go ahead and sort through. I have a huge pile of all the stuff I decluttered, plus some stuff that I've gotten in PR that I'm not gonna keep. So let's, let's see what we can fit in here. And I'll link Project Beauty Share below if you're interested. They have a list on their website of things that they accept. Oh, and the nice thing about these flat rate boxes is they have a built-in adhesive. So you can just, boom, and then you don't have to have any tape of your own. All right, so this is everything that I either decluttered or that I got in PR that I'm not going to use for myself. And so I'm gonna sort through this, sort this into kind of, I guess three piles. One of things to go to Project Beauty Share, two things to go to friends and family that aren't really donatable, and then the third category for things that are just expired, old, and need to be tossed. So let's do that. Okay, so I just filled this shoe box. This is all things that uh, Project Beauty Share doesn't accept, but they're still in good enough condition to be rehomed. These are the only things that are not rehomable. They're either expired or unsafe to pass on, like a mascara 
and this is just done for. So those are the only things that can't be rehomed. And then all of this stuff right here is able to be donated to Project Beauty Share. Uh, a lot of it is unopened and then some of it is just like super gently used items that I think are good enough to be sent there. So I might have a couple other things like perfumes I'm going to put in there as well that I um, decluttered a while ago. Um, but yeah, let's see how much of this we can fit in there. few perfumes that I'm also going to donate to Project Beauty Share. They do accept perfumes as well. Alright, so I was able to get that box pretty full. There's actually a little bit of room left. I'm not going to seal it up yet because I think when we get back from our road trip, that's when I'm going to mail this. And before then, I'm gonna wash these brushes. You can donate clean used brushes to them. So I'm gonna wash these at some point and include those in the box as well. So, yay, that feels good. How do we look? <sighs> Sweaty. Getting there. <laughs> so we are gonna close off this vlog here. We just finished pretty much packing up the entire car. We have a couple more things to put in there, but we just got Taco Bell, so we're gonna eat that. I'm gonna get some more editing done tonight, and then we're gonna call it a night. So, how are you feeling? Ready. Yeah. Ready. <laughs> well, we have we have a little more to pack after mm -hmm. your um, after after <laughs> after your dinner. After we have dinner, mm -hmm. you have we have a little of your stuff to pack, and then I'm ready for after that because I want to shower. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. But yeah, I'm 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 ready to leave. Ready yeah. to leave now. Once yeah. All. Yeah, so we're gonna try to get a good night's sleep and then head out in the morning. So to be continued, part two of the moving vlog will be coming next. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>